Thank you. Guys, if, if you as a man, if you feel like you've fallen off somewhere in life, which we've all been through, including me, start with physical activity. Physical activity is the key. It's the key, the key, the key. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. You can have the keys to masculinity and attraction with physical activity. And the thing about it is a lot of men still think that physical activity and being in shape is this stupid, superficial, who cares? Oh, who you, you try? Look at him. He, he swole. He think he's somebody, right? You know that hating shit when dudes, uh, when you pass by and they start laughing and snickering and stuff because you got some muscle on you, okay? All my guys that are in shape, you know what I'm talking about. But yet in the same token, these same guys will sit down and watch athletes throw a ball around for two hours straight. They'll watch complete strangers throw a ball around for two hours straight. The same guys that they watch on TV, that they want to be, that they wish they could be. The same guys throwing touchdowns, the same guys shooting three pointers, going up for a layup on a fast break. The same guys shooting free throws, doing dunks. You know, these guys, these same guys that sit down and watch these guys and aspire to be them doubt that being physically active is the key to masculinity. And the thing about it is those men right now, shout outs to my intellectuals, shout out to my intellectual men, shout out to my scientists, neuroscientists. I love neuroscience. Um, I like to watch a lot of podcasts on how the human mind works, you know, how our, how our mind is somewhat like a computer and we can program it for positive stuff, you know, neuroscience, shit like that. So shout out to y'all, but you will see that some of the most idolized men are athletes, okay? And this has been going on since the beginning of time. This isn't new. This isn't an NFL thing. This isn't an NBA, NHL, MLB, MLS, none of, none of that. That's not in it, any of that. This is going back from like caveman times, right? Caveman times because for a man back in them days to get food, bring home the bacon, so to speak, right? Or bring home the saber tooth way back in the day. I don't know what type of animal they was eating. Bring home the mammoth. You had to have been physically active and physically fit. And those were the dudes who got the bacon and got it shaken in the room. You know, they got the honey and the money. <laughs> and masculinity, uh, a key part of it is physical activity. I'm going to get into it. This is Tarek Talks. Thank you guys for joining me. Let's talk about physical activity. Let's talk about these gains. Let's talk about getting swole. Solid men, all my solid fellas. Drop a fucking comment in the comment section. Tell me what you worked out today. Okay. So guys, I'm telling you, physical activity is so much more than just a shallow uh, concept because yes, I do have attraction in the title. And this is extremely true. This is a byproduct. This is a byproduct of being physically fit. It is just a byproduct. And this is something that a lot of men want deep down inside. You know, when I get these trolls talking about, oh, it's not about women. I don't care about women deep down inside, bro. That's why they're watching the video. That's why they clicked on a video talking about women and attraction, right? Because think about it like this. If there is a video about how to sew, how to knit a sweater, Okay. If, they, if the thumbnail had a granny on it, knitting a sweater, and the title read, How to Knit a Sweater, I'm not going to click on it. Do you know why I'm not going to click on it? Because I'm not interested. And I, for shit damn show, am not going to comment on it. Do you know why I'm not going to comment on it? Because I don't care about it. Okay. So it's okay for my trolls that deep down inside, y'all y'all want a female. Okay. Y'all want attraction. That's natural. And the thing about it is, as I aforementioned, this is a byproduct, but the main thing that is gonna help you out with is masculinity. Because being physically active, being physically fit, builds this thing called discipline. Yes, this is something that is lacking from a lot 
of men. And I'm telling you guys, the main thing that is a man's downfall is a lack of discipline. It is a lack of doing what needs to be done. It is a lack of constraint, control. Discipline is a twofold thing. It is doing what you need to do, okay? AKA, uh, for example, gym, waking up early, keeping your hygiene on point, uh, staying up to date on your bills, taxes, you know, all that fun, all that fun stuff. That's really not fun. Well, I love, I love going to the gym. I fucking, that's my passion. Okay. Not many people can say that I'm blessed to have that type of passion, but you know, those are the things that people really don't want to do, but they do it. And discipline is also staying away from things that you want to do. It's a paradox is doing the things that you don't want to do and staying away from the things that you want to do, AKA drugs, alcohol, you know, chasing women, being thirsty, right? Now, that one in women part, the reason why I said thirsty, thirsty is in excess. This is where a guy has nothing going on, physicality off, discipline off, money all the way off, all the way broke, right? But he's still over here trying to get some kitty. He's still trying to get some play. That's what I mean by thirsty. I'm not talking about men who got it together, who are disciplined and get that attraction. Okay. So don't get it misconstrued. Do not get those two confused. But physical activity is the gateway to discipline. When you start getting your body in order, you start tracking your days. Hey, today is chest, tricep, shoulder, you know, push, whatever your split is. Tomorrow is leg day, quad focused, hamstring focused, glute focused, whatever, you know. So your brain, as I was mentioning earlier about uh, neuroscience, which is the study of how the mind works, it starts putting together these patterns. Your brain, your brain is like, okay, this guy, he's tracking what he's working out. He's staying on on task. He's staying focused. I like this. I'm going to reward him with muscle. Okay. I'm going to reward him with some gains. I'm going to reward him with attraction. And I'm going to get to that in a little bit, but I'm going to reward him. And furthermore, I'm going to make him disciplined in other areas of his life too. Cause Hey, why the hell not? I'm loving this fitness. Thing. This is your mind talking, right? I'm narrating what your mind is saying. Hey, well, I love this fitness stuff. <laughs> I feel good. I'm releasing serotonin or, or dopamine. One of those two, the feel good hormone, right? I'm, I'm doing it in a healthy way. I'm not doing it by way of drugs and alcohol. I'm doing it. I'm getting bigger. You know, I'm noticing the ladies are starting to like me a little more. This is still your brain talking. So hell, why not? Why not do this with other aspects of my life? Why not do this at my job? Why not do this with my finances? Why not do it in life in general, right? And that's the dialogue that's going on with your mind when it's linking all of these neurons together when you're physically fit, when you're physically disciplined. It starts correlating it to other aspects of your life. Now you're gonna do a little better at work. Now you're gonna be a little more focused. You're gonna have more energy. You're gonna start straying away Hopefully not everybody, not everybody, but you're going to start straying away from intoxicant, you know, uh, pills, alcohol, all of that stuff. Right. So that's that is a key factor in masculinity is discipline. As a matter of fact, if I can sum up masculinity in one word, it would be discipline. OK, it would be discipline. Now, this is just my definition is just my opinion. This is Tarek Talks. This, is, this channel is called Tarek Talks. It's not called Tarek's Proven Scientific Facts. Okay. So this is just me, but correct me if I'm wrong, right? Masculinity is a huge, most of it, you can put it under the umbrella of discipline. You're emotionally disciplined. You're physically disciplined. You're, you discipline your household. Okay. Not in a tight, uh, 
dictatorship type of way. Okay, when I say discipline the household, a lot of uh, liberal hippie queers are gonna get pissed, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. You feel what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You need to have that discipline to discipline. If your kids, if your family looking at you and you undisciplined, why the hell, why do you think they're going to follow under your lead? Why, why do you think they'll go along with, with you? Right? What makes you think that your family is going to respect you if you don't respect yourself and you're not disciplined? Now comes the fun part, the attraction part. When you are physically fit, when you get that muscle on you, when you get that, that you get that little juicy thickness to you, right? You get them little shoulders popping. You get that chest popping. Now you're walking around a little more with a little more confidence, right? You're walking around with a little more swag. Ladies are going to start noticing you a little bit. And you don't have to do much, okay? You don't have to do much. See, you took care of the physical. And look, doesn't mean you're going to get every single chick, right? You're just going to get the chicks that already are predisposed to being attracted to you. Meaning, if if you were kind of chunky and overweight, they're looking at you and they're like, man, if only he was a little more, you know, in shape. If, if only he was a little more, had a little more muscle on him, right? And now, them same chicks, when they see you and you're in shape, they're like, yeah, I want him. Now, of course, they have to be in shape too, or they have to be to your liking too. I know some guys like thicker gals and hey, look, I completely understand that, but they got to be to your liking too. A lot of guys think when I say getting in shape for, for women, they're like, oh, you're trying to impress women and you're doing all that. Mofo, don't you think that when you put yourself up to standards that you're going to have starting start to have standards too? Whatever your standards are, subjective, whatever kind of chick that you like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to start demanding a little more from the chicks. Like, hey, uh, I work hard for everything I got. I'm disciplined. So you better come up, come with something too. But the case, the point in case is, is that young ladies are going to start viewing you in a more sexual light, which is what a lot of guys want. They're going to start viewing you as a sexual option. They're going to look at your back, whatever the young lady likes, right? Some ladies like backs, some like shoulders. Some like pecs, some like motherfucking glutes. Fellas, I'm telling you, I am telling you, females love a man with some glutes, right? With some strong glutes. And I'm, I'm, I'm being dead ass serious. So many chicks, chicks that I dealt with in the past, <laughs> they kept putting their hands on my legs. And on my glute area. I know it sounds weird, but they like it. It's a part of the body, okay? Because in their head, they're thinking like, damn, this guy can, he has a lot of force behind his stroke. That's what they're thinking. That's really what they're thinking. I'm being dead ass serious. They like legs. They like big, strong legs. They like big, strong arms. You know what? What what lady don't, you know, what woman don't like big, strong arms? I'm not talking about the stereo. I'm not talking about the steroid shit. I'm talking about healthy arms. Okay. So guys, start getting physically active. It's gonna do wonders for you. Peace.